You have been chosen by the aliens to show them something that will convince them to not destroy Earth. You can show them anything on Earth. What do you show them? A collection of humanity's best heart. No idea what it would contain, but it'd be the best chance at conveying the world through our eyes and, for better or worse, it'd also tell them a lot about us. Assuming they would understand any of those concepts, anyways. They might not even have the ability to understand art or beauty or emotion. Who knows? We can hope, however, that if they've developed a system of science that revolves around observation rather than domination that they would, at very least, find our behaviors interesting enough to justify leaving us alone. The zoo. I'll show them how we feel better and more worthy than other animals. We have some sort of misguided superiority complex. I'll show them how we cage up other life forms to put them on display for the entertainment of our species. With a bit of luck they dig the idea and cage us. We are nothing. We aren't apex predators. We aren't worth more than other animals or insects. We are a parasite gone out of control. We surely are no match for an interstellar traveling alien species. Let them have at us, we deserve it. Oh, yeah. You gotta get swifty. You gotta get swifty in here. It's time to get swifty. Oh, oh. You gotta get swifty. Oh, yeah. Take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. Time to get swifty in here. Gotta shit on the floor. I'm Mr. Bulldops. I'm Mr. Bulldops. Take a shit on the floor. Take off your panties and your pants. It's time to get swifty in here. New song. Swifty. Double X. Swifty song, coming in ya. Yeah. It's this wife Swifty. Hey, take your pants off. It's Swifty time today. Our food cuisine. So in the newest iteration of Dragon Ball, they've introduced a character that is a god of destruction. Basically he's insanely powerful broken and could destroy any planet's people whenever he feels like it. The joke on the show is that the main reason he hasn't blow up the earth yet is for its food, and I kinda agree. Probably the only thing our species didn't mess up. Assuming they understand our language and the concept of cultures in at least a similar way to what we do. The movie about time. It's just so beautiful. And it covers all the best parts of what it is to be human. And show them that in say we all strive to be the main character and we mostly fail, but there is something noble in the effort. The nuclear fucking bomb and tell them our entire planet is a nuclear fucking bomb and we've perfected cloaking technology for our bomb for this exact occasion and if they don't leave right fucking now we'll blow up our solar system. Go ahead look at the entirety of our history and say we won't do it. Fucking call our bluff ET. I beg you. I show them the everyday people working hard to try and make the planet a better place. Teenagers picking up garbage at a beach. The Coast Guard risking life and limb to help rescue sailors in distress. Doctors who left lives of luxury to go help people in extreme poverty and battling malaria and other epidemic illnesses. Oh I absolutely know this. I was just talking to my friend about this. I will show aliens me and my friend's Discord chat history. We have 6 years of pure comedic bliss in that chat and it'd make aliens think homo sapiens were the most comedic species in the galaxy. Like Mr. Rogers said, look for the helpers. People that work to serve others, save lives. Folks that rescue animals. Social workers and counselors. There are plenty of takers in this world, the givers provide a balance, and keep us from tipping over into oblivion. And show them how much humans have been waiting to meet another sentient life so we can break free of our self-destructive cycles, explore other planets and their cultures, and bring our own ingenuity and drive to the galactic community. And for cynical responses, I just show them the likes of Andrew Tate and they'd be convinced immediately that we are already on our way to an assured self-destruction anyway. Perhaps they are sadists and will let us continue doing an already splendid job destroying ourselves. Photos of a 19-year-old nude Natalie Portman on some Euro beach circa 99. There's no way they'd eradicate us after seeing that. I will quite literally bet the survival of our species on it. Or I'm wrong. Win-win as far as I'm concerned. Online gaming. I don't need them to sympathize with us, I just need them to be hooked so hard that they won't leave the lower levels of their spaceships, consume ungodly amount of junk food and listen to terrible rock songs. Holocaust Museum, Gangs of Mexico, Detroit, the floating islands of garbage, the death of coral reefs, atomic weapons tests, a brief history of the world mostly war. We didn't start the fire but we keep adding to IT. Show them the old separate your thumb and reattach it move that convinces children you can remove and put your thumb back on your hand. If they try to blow us up they'll think we'll just put ourselves back together. Lots of things the aliens could just take before destroying Earth. 
I'm thinking show them the arrival gate at an airport. There's something very moving about people waiting to see someone after a long absence. A Megar Ali. I figure if aliens want to destroy Earth it must be because they think we are a threat. The level of intelligence of the people at the rally should prove that they have nothing to worry about. My golden retrievers to distract them while I take them on a tour of projectile weapons made by Smith and Wesson. Then we fly their silly little ship and take out their home world because they'd never stop. Sunny, true love is the greatest thing in the world, except for a nice MLTM mutton, lettuce, and tomato sandwich when the mutton is nice and lean and the tomato is ripe. They're so perky. I love that. Just straight up breakdance attempt the moonwalk and whatever my version of the worm looks like maybe show some boobies. AKA distract them enough to steal their mothership. Jokes on you motherfuckers. I show them the largest slaughterhouses and meat processing facilities. Show them how we kill for food. And then I laugh maniacally. We need to be destroyed. We are a disease upon this world. Not show. I will make them listen to music requiem for my friend by Priisner. Gene and by City, the songs of Mauthausen by Theodorakis, Sumbach, Mozart and Dylan yet to decide. Show them something that'll convince them we'll take care of it ourselves in about 100 years or so. They can just sit back, sip on some space lemonade, and report back home once we do. Trees and wood likely one of the most rare things in the universe and nearly exclusive to Earth as it is now. If they destroyed Earth or it took all the trees it would end the supply. Just show them the nightly news. Explain that it is not worth going home and getting your planet killer machine because by the time you get back, we will have done the job for you. Probably an opal. Those things are mesmerizing. Not sure how it would work if they don't see the same on the electromagnetic spectrum though. Guess we're dead, sorry everyone. Honest government ads, on YouTube. They'll know then, to not waste ammunition on us we'll do it ourselves. They also get to watch a bunch of pretty girls. So that's a win-win. Honestly I'd just show them anything about politics or war and watch them laugh while telling us we're gonna kill ourselves soon anyways as they fly away back into space. Puppies. Our rapport with them is more indicative of our advanced capacity for love than anything else about us. We, as a species, love puppies more than we do each other. I'd point out the oil fields and coal mines proving what a sheer waste of resources it would be. Cause we're destroying ourselves and will be extinct shortly anyhow. This isn't NSFW so I'll simply say my sausage. It probably won't work and we'll all be dead. But if it did work, well, I will have the greatest story on earth. Stop making sense. I've been watching it every Christmas for years. It just really puts the love of humanity and possibility back in there at the end of the year. Puppies and kittens and all that are admirable ideas. I would introduce them to the axolotl I don't even think psychopaths can resist the axolotl. I'll show them videos of people rioting in the name of, something something religious. If that wouldn't convince them, I don't know what would. Either a photo or a video of the Scottish Blackwatch Regiment storming the trenches during World War I or the Star Trek Toes episode The Cobra Might Maneuver. Bill Dead's Bogus Journey, Civilization IV, Ratatouille. Maybe a few other things like that. Oh. And a piece of cake from my local patisserie. I make a circle with my thumb and index finger below my waist and point at it with my other hand. When he looks I will punch him and laugh. Mosquitoes as they are quite obviously an endangered species as this is the only planet in the entire galaxy that has the correct habitat. I tell them why waste time and resources destroying Earth? Can't you see we humans will destroy the Earth and each other eventually? A picture of my granddaughter waiting for her chicken taco. Or the picture of my grandson riding on his uncle's shoulder. I can't even bring them to a park so they can see all the dogs that are out and about. Show them all the love and joy that they can bring to people. Entertainment. If we found out what entertains them, humans would do it to an art, a science, and eventually we would exploit them. Women doing battle in a ring of jello. That or the Taj Mahal. But only the backside. Don't need to see all the shoes outside. Sealed nuclear waste. We are capable of splitting atoms. And destroying worlds. Yet. We remain intact. It could go either way. Nothing. Let's go out together. I like to believe that they would just kill humans and use our resources and habitable planet. Baldur's Gate 3, by the time they're finished with the character creation we would have came up with a way to beat them. Animals. They are superior to humans. We hurt each other for reasons that are not instinctual. We do it because we can. I have no fucking idea but if we all think docked really really hard they might have an idea to save our arse. My phone. Centuries worth of knowledge and endless possibilities in the palm of your hand. You're welcome Earth, my doll. Laugh if you want, but no one who has ever seen it has destroyed the world.
It has a perfect record, the entirety of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. If they still decide to destroy Earth then we still have some time. Point Break. The original. With chocolate popcorn and Mountain Dew. They'll head back to space with Mohawks. Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Ice Cream. The Taj Mahal. La Pieta. The School of Athens. Dark Side of the Moon. Vitus. Aliens will have mercy of our planet thinking that we're heading to self-destruction in no time. The movie Independence Day. But tell them it's the documentary about what we did to the last alien invaders. And show them the picture of the man taking food from a starving child and have them burn this fucker down. Jersey Shore. Its mere presence is proof we deserve obliteration, and they'll hopefully make it quick. Heroin. 80 they get hooked. 20 they realize we're garbage for inventing it and vaporize us. Win win. Math. Likely the only thing we have that can be put in their language although probably beyond elementary. Costco $1.50 hot dog. The deal is unbeatable and they're sure to understand it's too good to destroy. I show them my holographic consciousness projector. It warps through time if it hits 55 miles per hour p. Show them the beauty of the planet, then the fun of holidays and sell them holidays on Earth instead. Not something showing the greatness of man. Show something beautiful or mind-blowing from nature. The Rickroll video, either I doom humanity, or save it. Either way I go down an absolute legend. I explain and demonstrate Rule 34. It will prove that humans are imaginative and inventive. If I show them enough furry porn, then they will give up because we aren't worth the effort.